What's up, people? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Drake Webb. We got Drake. Uh, I'm about to get hit by the trailer. We're uh, we're loading up for a wedding. October 24th. We're gonna be doing a wedding. It is a beautiful day out. It's like 75 degrees out. The sun is shining. It's supposed to get to almost 80 degrees today in North Carolina. So it's gonna be a nice hot one. We got a cool one today. We got a ceremony, cocktail, reception. We're doing uplighting. We got a monogram. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be awesome. So. Let's go ahead, let's get loaded up and let's get on the road. Before we get into today's gig log, I need to let you guys know how you can win a Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT. That's right. The winner drop for DJ Life Clothing goes live on November 26th at 10 p.m. And every $5 you spend is going to be one entry to win this Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT. As a bonus on Black Friday only, I'm doing 10 times entries, which means for every $5 you spend, you're going to get 10 entries, which is insane, and that is for Black Friday only. So go check it out, shopdjlife.com, where you guys can win a 1000 SRT in this winter drop. It's crazy. We got hoodies, we got beanies, we got joggers, we got all kinds of different shirts. Go check it out. It's live right now. Now let's get into the gig log. If you saw there at the end, I grabbed this bag, the table, and just tossed them in here. And that's because we have loadout sheets. So right here, we have the loadout check sheets, and I was going through making sure I had everything, and I got to the ceremony, and I said, black small table, black table scrim, I don't have either of those. So we threw those in there, but basically we got all of our loadout sheets for all of our stuff. Very handy to have. There's also another one over here for the lighting, but you get to check everything before you leave so you don't forget anything. Marcellus, he doesn't even watch my videos anymore, so he probably didn't even see that, but this dude forgot the, the rails for the event table. Uh, was it last week? Was it last week? I think it was last week. He forgot the rails for his event table like an idiot, so. That's why we have two people. One person came back and got it while he continued setting up. It was all good. We're all loaded up and we're gonna get on the road because we have roughly an hour and a half journey up into the mountains of North Carolina for this wedding. So let's get on the road. Well, we've arrived and we do have a slight of a bummer. No power right now. So the power got knocked out. They are estimating to get it back on before the start. On the good side, we have all battery powered equipment here. We have the Maui 5 Go, so we could run the whole night on that. The ceremony rig's battery powered to some degree. Up lighting's battery powered, so. We can make it work if we don't get any power tonight, but that would be quite a bummer because it is a huge venue if you didn't see. This venue could hold 300 people, no problem. So, anyways, we're gonna back up here and start winding up around this corner to get everything upstairs. All right, we got everything loaded up in. You guys saw we went up all these ramps and stuff like that. Ceremony actually is just around on the back side right there. And we're gonna go inside and set up what we can, even though we don't have power. So not gonna be a big deal. We just can't do an audio check. We can't do a mic setup. We can't do a lighting setup. We won't be able to do a lot of stuff until we got power, but they're actually working on the power right there you can actually see them working on it so they estimated we should have power by three o'clock it's currently a little before two so by the time we get everything set up hopefully we'll have power so check in with you guys while we're gonna go set up let's go get set up here is the ceremony site we've uh, finished setting up the reception it's a little bit echoey back here uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue Still don't have power. They got this cool little bar thing here. I'm assuming they use it for a bar if they have events back here. It'd be cool to throw like a little party back here. But we're gonna set up our Maui 5 Go, the audio rack, all that up back here, the ceremony audio rack, which is all battery powered. So we're pretty much set for a uh, battery powered ceremony. You know, I just realized I could pack my truck up. We have 100 foot extension cords. I can power probably my whole entire rig off of my truck. Big brain, big brain. And we are all set up for the ceremony. Rocking the LD Systems Maui 5 Go. We might be bringing it upstairs to do the reception with. We also have the JBL Eon with us as well in case. We have the uh, battery powered ceremony rack here so we can run on battery. I haven't bothered syncing any of the mics yet. Gonna wait until we actually are good to go for the ceremony. Got our Yamaha MG06 here. Here's the backside here. We got the MG06 FX Yamaha. We have the Colorado Sound and Light battery powered. If I flick this up, switches the battery power good to go. We also can run on outlet power, which is right here if we get it. Like I said, we don't have power here right now. Got two Audio-Technica 3004 gens. Inside of here is where we store the mics. Got two more handhelds in there if we need them. 
Got the two lapels up there. iPad tonight. If I don't have power, I'm gonna run on iPad here to save my computer battery for DJing upstairs. Yeah, this is the this is the ceremony site. It echoes pretty well back here. Not sure how it's gonna work with the mics. We're not gonna have really a chance to tune the mics or try and tune the mics just because I'm trying to conserve as much battery power as possible in that ceremony rig in case I need to utilize it upstairs as well. Um, so it's gonna be interesting, but I'm chilling. We're good to go. Everything's set up. Up lights are set up. If we don't get power, we'll go turn all the up lights on a static color because we won't have DMX unless we run 200 feet of uh, extension cord from my truck upstairs to power the main rig. Really considering it. All right, guys. So update. We are not getting power back. Estimated it was three o'clock. Now it's five o'clock. So what we're doing? We're gonna go grab the Tacoma, which has the outlet in the bed with 400 watts of power. We're gonna grab 200 feet of extension cord from the trailer, which I always have in the trailer, and we're gonna go park on the other side and run an extension cord around. Well, the truck is powering up to the ceremony and we have the other cable that's gonna be going inside up there. We got power. We got power. Ladies and gentlemen, we have power. ...of your life without them. Brian and Marissa, Mar marriage is the promise between two people who love each other. And by the power vested in me by North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to welcome everyone to Marissa and Ryan's wedding reception. Can someone make some noise out there? Make some noise for our new wives. Hope everyone's going great out there. My name is Rick. I'm going to be your DJ MC tonight. If you got any questions, let me know. If you got song requests later on, let me know. The restrooms, if you didn't know, are outside there. But uh, all that really doesn't matter because I got some very, very important people we're going to be welcoming into our wedding reception this evening. So if I can ask everyone, the director's attention to the doors behind me, I'm going to get out of the way so you can see. I need everyone to make some noise for me. Make some noise as we welcome in our first pair. That is Rachel and Jacob. Give it up. Give it up. Keep those hands going for Jiffy and Stewart. Let's give it up for Samari and Colton. Let's give it up for Kelsey and Dustin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I can ask for you to rise from your seats if you may. Rise from your seats. I need everyone to get loud. I need you to put your hands together. I need you to scream and shout as my honor to introduce the most important people of this evening, Mr. and Mrs. Ryan Grody. You may be seated, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, you can direct your attention to the center of the room, the center of the dance floor, as Marissa and Ryan are now going to share their first dance together as husband and wife. Yeah. I think someone needs to make some noise for our newlyweds. Make some noise. All right, guys, we're in the middle of dinner. So I thought I'd add some, some footage to this because uh, I feel like I haven't been talking at all today. So um, we use the monitor. Got the JBL Eon uh, one battery powered speaker just using it as a nice little monitor because the speakers are all the way over there.
All right, guys, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Update on the JBL. It's, it was literally clipping the whole night because it wasn't really loud enough. But uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to read it. But it's like 70. I would give it at least 60% battery. Pretty impressive how how long it can last at like full volume. But um, tear down time, which means I need to go change because monkey outfit. I'm not, I'm not tearing down in this. Yo, forgot to film an outro. I thought I filmed an outro. Maybe I didn't. Who knows? Anyways, this uh, this gig was awesome. It was a dope wedding. Pretty cool. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below what you guys thought of this gig vlog. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. And like always, guys, keep them records spinning. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.